Hello everyone. I'm sure you guys remember that Luca Galarraga from Brazil has visited us and built us this aquarium. Now this is not the Brazilian style that we know. This is. This is what Luca was inspired by Amano's son and he got back from Japan and this is what he started as Brazilian and this evolved into the contest style we know today. And now I'm going to try to give my first go to a Brazilian style but you don't want two very similar tanks next to each other. So it's going to be a mini version. When I say mini, it's going to be a 60p build, so not that mini, but much smaller than what people usually use for a Brazilian style scape. And I have two things to help me today. One is Luca's work from 2020. This was ranking number seven on IAPLC. This is my favorite tank from him. And my Aquabase t-shirt. This is as Brazilian as I can get, so hopefully it will help me out during the build. I've laid out a bunch of stones for today. I've tried to keep in mind what I've learned from Luca, that you don't care about texture. You want thin stones to have space for plants, and especially in this one. As usual, I'm gonna use Balaj's leftovers. I'm gonna use Amazonia version two on top, and I'm gonna actually pour it in the front of the tank, and then gonna pull it back. I think this is enough to start with. Yeah, this might be too big. I love this stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna break this. It's not too nice where it broke, but I'm just gonna use the other side of it. Hmm. It's not safe. This is where he started gluing. This <laughs> is powdered Amazonia. It's actually broken pieces of Amazonia. So I'm gonna put on top of the glued paper towel. So now the whole thing is more stable because the, the, the big stone can't move forward anymore. It can't tilt anymore because this one holds it much better. If the image I'm using as inspiration is familiar to you, it's because, well, you've seen it in Luca's workshop and also Balaj used it as inspiration for his Brazilian style build. So it seems that this is the go-to work when we want to build Brazilian style. Stone is good, but I need it to be higher. I didn't really understand the gluing process that Luca did. I mean, but I didn't understand why he did it. But now with using these thin stones, you can get them in fixed in positions that you couldn't by just putting them in the soil. So it all makes sense, finally. And I know I haven't talked much during the hardscaping process, well, a lot less than I usually do, but I've been trying to concentrate and trying to remember what I've learned from Luca. So, yeah. Um, Lunch. Okay, so two things have happened during lunch. First of all, I, I found two more stones that I want to put in, but I'm not really sure about, so we're gonna check that now. And I also sent a picture to Luca <laughs> to check out. He said, and he's right, that all the front hardscape is parallel. So, I'm gonna be very brave. Let's hope that not the whole thing is not gonna collapse. Makes it better, isn't it? Yeah. And the other one, it's actually the top here is a bit empty. Maybe I'm gonna plant it, we're gonna see it with the stem plants and then I can still put in another. Okay, so this is a no for now. It was really stupid to make the whole soil wet before adding the sand because now the sand is wet and it's impossible to work with it. Plants are just as, if not more important in a Brazilian scape than the hardscape itself. 
It's very important to have a very versatile planting. So Brazilian scapes use a bunch of different kinds of plants and of course a bunch of different colors. So I'm gonna go bottom to top with carpeting plants and then we're gonna have the stem plants in the back. And I'm gonna mix them all up actually. Okay, let's go. This area, the sand is over some aqua soil, so I can easily plant in here. Hello, Caris Silla. It's going to be the main carpeting plant throughout the sides, and it will actually go in here, in the back as well. So I don't want high, high plants here in the middle. In plant choices, I was inspired by Brazilian style on its own. I haven't really checked what kind of plants Luca used in the contestscape. I don't even want to use the same because I think they would be too big because obviously he's built it in a much bigger tank. So far, this is basically an Iwagumi. More than regular complicated Iwagumi, but the main difference will be the background plants and uh, the colors. I'm planting against the angle of the soil, which obviously the plant's gonna come out the same way later on. Might look weird after the first fill up. This plant always looks like it's dead on arrival, but it's not, it's perfectly fine. Almost all of it is brown. This plant is going to be perfectly fine in more shadowy places as well. This is the Rotala SP Pearl. I want it to come out. It's perfect, very, very small leaved, very fine Rotala species with lots of color. I'm going with Limnophila Vietnam on these behind this hill and it's gonna go on the corners as well. It's almost fully green, might get a little reddish tint, which could tie it in nicely with the red rotalas that are going behind the main stones. I need a few bits of carpet there in the middle and that I'm gonna take from the Cuba, from the leftover Cuba. This is a pre-grown carpet basically from another setup. Only thing is, this has already been underwater of course, so should take it better in the first few weeks. It's already rooted, it has some soil on the root system, so I'm planning on using that in tricky areas where I can't really fit my pincet and I can't really plant. I don't want to start the stems in the back with uh, in vitro because they just take too much time. So I want to be able to send a picture to Luca. Even though this is a potted, quite grown plant, it won't be visible after filler. It's too short. Obviously, I need to put some of it in the soil. Please stay there. I hate planting stem plants. Probably that's why I didn't. That's why I've never done a Brazilian before. In between all the greenery and the red, there are plants that are gonna turn slightly reddish under light. So they're gonna provide a, a nice transition from green to red. I've just found a place for some of this terragine. That's done. I need stem plants. I just know a place where I can get some. Bunch of stolen plants. Okay, so it's still it's gonna take some time for the plants to actually come up, but uh, it's gonna be much quicker than if I were to use in vitro plants. So here it is, my first ever Brazilian style tank and oh, the mini version of a Brazilian tank. I hope you like it. Uh, we're gonna see it in a couple of weeks. Well, you're gonna see the shots of it in a couple of weeks time in a few seconds. Thank you for joining me and uh, see you next time. Goodbye.